So today we're gonna talk about a few quizzes and or we're gonna go through I think a few quizzes you know I, I should test things beforehand but I haven't and so we're gonna see um, what it is gonna be about and if it is good if it is bad and yeah now I do have to decide which category I want to have so pop music movie geography science computer literature classical music history television sports languages and miscellaneous i mean i'm gonna go for miscellaneous just because it's oh yeah thank you business art general food games musical transport i'm gonna go for art you know art movements and painters there's actually quite a lot of quizzes there self portraits and painters pictures of museums famous paintings and um, descriptions of art movements, descriptions and architects. Let's actually go for the first one, just art movements and painters one. Can you pick the painters that are often associated with the given art movements? Is there some time limit there? I hope it is not just because it, it would piss me off. No, there isn't. Which of these painters are often associated with this art movement? So I should actually know it. <laughs> Since I've been attending a graphic design school, I we also had art history and stuff, and I should know that. Expressionism. Uh, so the first option is E. Munch, uh, Kirchner, and Paul, Paul Klee, actually. Then Monet, Renoir, or, and Degas, or whatever. Velasquez, Caravaggio, and Rembrandt. Then Van Gogh, uh ah i think it is also paul chazon and something and Gauguin. expressionism was van gogh an expressionist i don't fucking remember it's 100 percent not caravaggio it's not expressionism it was i think in the renaissance uh monet it could be monet i think it is either monet or van gogh expressive well, I'm actually gonna go for Van Gogh. Are you kidding me? It's Munch, Kirchner, and Klee. Anyway, post impressionism. Why am I so bad? <laughs> post impressionism. Um, Goya, Turner, and Dollar, whatever. Then Clint, Mucca, Steinlein, uh, Toulon, Lautrec, Ori de Toulon, Lautrec, or Rousseau. And or Michelangelo, Raphael, and Da Vinci, which is not the case. It's also not going to be Klimt, I guess. So either it is Goya or it is Soran and Ori de Luz Lodrec and Orozo. Hmm. I'm going to go for de Luz Lodrec. And it is right. Post impressionism. I don't know this. Art Novea or Novoa. So it's probably not going to be Tolulu Trek once again. Klimt, maybe. Is it Duchamp? Duchamp is actually the uh, artist who had the urinal. The urinal um, that was, I think, actually smuggled into a museum and was then a part of it. And Which is an interesting thing because if you put something into, into a museum, it is a different context. And just because it is in a fucking museum, people think that it is art, even though it actually isn't. Which is something that's pretty fucked up and interesting what um, the context can make. Reminding me of some good times. Fucking amazing. Um, Dali. It's not going to be a Art Novea. I, I still don't know which. I think it is French. So I'm going to go for Duchamp actually. It's actually Klimt and Mucha. And so on. Post Impressionism. You know, these are all these things that I that I really didn't give a fuck about, but it's going to be... I'm going to give you the uh, options. Mondrian, uh, Van Duisburg, and Lech, which could actually be the case. Uh, Munch, Kirchner, and Klee, which is not going to be the case. Um, J.L. David, Ingres, and Carstens, and Van Gogh, Jusson, I think, and Gauguin. Um... I think I'm gonna go for Van Gogh, actually, post-impressionism. Yeah, it is Van Gogh, wow. Uh, Romanticism. There is Romanticism. Is it a part of... 
Is it a part of Renaissance? It could be. It probably is. Well, let's see. Um, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Da Vinci, uh, Goya, Turner, and so on. No, it's going to be Goya and Turner. Then we have Picasso and some other people, and then Matisse and Vlaminck. But I think it is actually Goya, and it is Goya. Suck my dick. <laughs> Northern Renaissance. Dura Bosch Brügel, the Elder, um, or Bruegel. People say Bruegel. Um, yeah. Tico, Church, Bierstadt, Durand. And then David, Ingres, and Carstens once again. And then Pizarro, Manet, and the Dululu Trek, which is not going to be the case. But I think Northern Renaissance. Northern Renaissance. Is Dura Renaissance. Is Dura and Spreugel Renaissance. And Bosch. By the way, Hieronymus Bosch. He's a fucking amazing artist. His paintings are fucking insane. No, it is not Renaissance. This is definitely not Renaissance. Bosch is... Ah, what is it? It's some really strange fucked up shit. It is amazing. I think it is amazing. Um, Is it Impressionism? I don't know. Fuck, man. It could be Dadaism. But it, it's definitely not Northern Renaissance. I guess. But Dura is... Dura could be. I don't know why. Is it so loud there? Please be silent or something. Anyway, um, hmm, Manet. It's it's not gonna be Pizarro, Manet, and whatnot. Maybe I just don't know them. It's gonna be Cole, Bierstadt, and Dura. Um, I'm gonna go for David and some. It is actually Dura. Fuck, man. Shit. Then there we have Dada and Dadaism, which is also. Pretty fucking amazing. Um, I think now it is Duchamp. I think Duchamp was in that area. or oh, era. It's not going to be again the Delulu Trek. Botticelli and Masaccio. It's also not going to be the case. Because they were really deep in Renaissance. Uh, Pollock, Ratok and Newman. No, it's going to be Duchamp. Yes, it is Duchamp. I'm having four points. I'm actually pretty bad. <laughs> Realism, Warhol, Herring, and Liechtenstein. No, not. Uh, Pontormo, Fiorentino, Tintoretto. No. Millet, Risotti, Millet. I don't know, just a bunch of them. Realism. Hmm. But it's not Warhol. This is something that, that that's for sure. Gonna go for them. Fuck, I've picked the wrong one. Baroque, Klimt, Mucha, and Steinlein, no. Pollock, uh, Rocco, and Newman, no. Pontormo, it's gonna be... Is it Caravaggio? and Ve It's gonna be, yeah, Caravaggio and Velasquez, as well as Rembrandt. And then once again, Romanticism. Is it like, you know, have you figured it out? And then I've got 60%, which is actually below the... year. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> oh shit, romanticism. Was it Clint and something? I don't remember. And Monet. Let's go for Clint. Fuck. David Friedrich and stuff. Your score? F plus. Bad. Your score? 5. Uh, average score? 7 point when you're done. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, let's actually go through... Should we go through the second one? I don't want to just only have just art here. Let's also go for... What if I tap science? Biology, elements, math, astronomy, measure. Hmm. But miscellaneous, there was also business. Which is also very interesting. What is computer? General? Countries? No. Sports, languages, classical music, history, television. What is miscellaneous? Food, fashion, games, transport, musicals, general. Let's go for general. It really... Color shade, names and colors, awards and photos. Music style and country, description. No. What is business? What can I see there? Description and Eurocoin, companies and headquarters. 
founders and organizations. Let's actually go for that, motherfuckers. Probably really bad at that. Um, these are the founders of which organization? Roy Prosterman. Uh, YMCA, Landesa, Toastmaster, or Rotary International. I don't know, Roy, but I'm going to go for YMCA. And it is Landesa, or whatever it's pronounced. Mother Teresa, National Audubon Society, Acumen, which is a fund, Missionaries of Charity, Medicine Sons Frontiers. Gonna go for the medicines. Fuck, Missionaries of Charity. <laughs> Roland Beryl and Lancelot Ware. It's, I think it is German, so Roland Beryl, Beryl and uh, Lancelot Ware. Mensa International, Landesa, National Rifle Association, USA. I think that's not gonna be the case. Lions Club International. I think it's Lions Club. Fuck. Mensa International. I don't know. I don't even know the organizations. Paul Watson. I think I should know that. Comic Relief, Acumen Fund, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. This is gonna be the case. Yeah. Got it. Bitches. Sue Allen Cooper. Saved Children, Serious Tet, Red Hat Society. I think it was actually Tet. No, the Red Hat Society. George Williams, American Legion, Amnesty International, YMCA, and the Wikimedia Foundation. George Williams. I'm actually going to go for the Amnesty International, YMCA. Okay. Jacqueline Novogratz. <clears throat> I know her. Fuck, I know her. I think she's Save the Children. Fuck. Acumen. Anyway, <laughs> Ori Donat and Gustave Monnier, I think. The Salvation Army International Olympic Committee is counting Red Cross. Gotta go for the Red Cross, yes. By the way, uh, at this point in time, I am a paramedic for the Red Cross. So, I, I totally knew it, of course. Uh, Louis Philippe I, Red Hat Society and Medicine Sans Frontiers. Uh, French Four Eyeing Legion or International Olympic Committee. It could be everything. I think French Four Eyeing Legion. Yeah, just because he's French. Theodore Roosevelt Jr., the National Rifle Association. Well, pretty bad F. <laughs> I do want to have one that I'm good at, motherfuckers. Logos and. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is something with logos. Or should I go for food and game? No. Business. Logos and animal species. Least number of dollar notes. Eurocoin finance abbreviations. I don't even know what it means. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the one with the least points gathered by other people. Which apparently is this one as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's this one. And uh, do you know from which countries these euro coins are? Ugh, my God, it's zwei Euro cent. I see, and there is a, a flower. So it either is Switzerland or Austria. It's probably not going to be Germany. It's also not Sw uh, Netherlands for sure. No, I think it's actually Switzerland. It's Austria. It's even my, it's even my my, my home country. Oh, shit. And I, I'm actually seeing it just so often, so I, I'm just dumb. You know? This is some castle thing. San Marino, Germany, Austria, or Monaco. It's not Austria. This is for sure the case. Gonna go for San Marino. It's, it's the truth. This... How should I know? Is it Italy, Spain, Monaco, or San Marino? It is a tower. It's a tower with... Or is it a lights? Do you call it light tower? I don't know. Um, actually, once again, I want to go for San Marino, but I'm going to go for Monaco. It's actually San Marino once again. Fuck you. There we are having... Uh, this... Maybe it is some... some, some I don't know. It is some building thing. I think it's Slovenia. And it is Malta. Well. This definitely is not Germany or Austria. Might be Italy. But I'm gonna go for France. It's Italy! Why? 
Anyway. Vatican City, Luxembourg, Monaco, or Belgium? Gonna go for Belgium. And it is Luxembourg. I thought about it. I'm now gonna pick the one that I think about the first. Vatican City, Belgium, Greece, it's Belgium. Okay, it's it's Monaco. This is Germany. Isn't it the... Not gonna say anything. This is Austria. Suck my dick, because it's the Stephansdom. This probably is... Does the Vatican City actually have its own euros? Because this would probably be something like that. They actually have. Your score, F. Pretty bad. I'm, I'm gonna go for, for another one. Let's actually go for science. I like science. And let's go for... Uh, general, I guess. Collectors. And we're gonna pick the one with the least points. Which, as far as I can tell, is this one. Yes. Science, books, and authors. No, I'm not gonna go through that. It's so uninteresting. Suck my dick. It really is. Um, descriptions and manias and isolines, inventions and inventors. Let's go for that one with the least. Yeah, inventions and inventors three. We are surrounded by things that were invented by scientists at some point in time. How well do you know which invention was created by which inventor? Let's see. Liquid fuel rocket. Johann Maria Farina, Bort Bortolomeo Cristofori, Robert Goddard or Elias Ho. Or whatever. Uh, I think, by the way, it's Johann. I, I might have said Johanna or something. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to go for Robert Goddard. It's actually right. <laughs> Mechanical tubulator based on punched cards. Garrett A. Morgan, James Leonard, Plimpton, Herman, Hollyrith, and William George Armstrong. I think it's not Armstrong. If it is Armstrong, then I'm going to end the episode. You know. Let's actually go for James Leonard Plimpton. And it is Herman Holyrith. Safety belt. Uh, what about Volvo? Eugen Baumann. Theophilus van Kennel. Armstrong Niels Bolin. Um, what is some Swedish name? Van Kennel? It's not very Swedish. Baumann? I don't know, Niels. I'm gonna go for Eugen Baum. It's actually Niels Bolin. I don't even know if Volvo invented this. You know, I just only saw the commercial. <laughs> Neon Lamp. Tracy Hall, Willis, Carrier, James Lerner, Plimpton, George Claude. I'm gonna go for Tracy Hall. And it's not her. Just because it's a woman. Synthetic Diamonds. Elias Ho, Alf, Eugen Fick. Theo... Philius van Kennel and Tracy Hall. Now Tracy Hall, let's do it. And yes, it is Tracy Hall. Pipe wrench and modern adjustable spanner. Hmm. Johan Peter Johansen, Mary Anderson. Let's go for Mary Anderson. And it is Johan Peter. The lawnmower. Niels Bolin, Johan Peter Johansen, Nick Holo. Holo Holoniak and Edwin Beard Budding. Gonna go for Nick. And it is Edward Beard Budding. I always think it's the other one. Ole Cologne. Uh, Konrad Johannes van Schutner. Johann Maria Farina, Stephanie Kvolek, and Nick Hol Holoniak. Please be Stephanie. No, it's Johan. Crit of crossword puzzle. I'm actually so bad, I'm gonna pick something else. I don't wanna be, and it's also very uninteresting. Let's go for miscellaneous once again and for food. No. Miscellaneous and, well. Cook method and description. 
What do these cooking related terms mean? This is interesting. To simmer. Cover food with liquor and set a light briefly. Uh, cook food in liquids just below boiling point. To decorate a prepared food dish or drink, cut food into short and thin strips. Um, I know to simmer is, it is boiling, but it is hardly boiling. So it's not just below boiling point. Well, it is just below boiling point. With liquor instead of like, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to go for uh, cook food in liquids just below boiling point. And it is right. To steep, um, soak food in hot liquid to absorb flavor, to decorate a prepared food dish or drink, cook food by heating in an oven or over a fire to cut something into cubes. Isn't to steep like using steam to, to, to cook food? Cook food by heating in an oven or over fire. Soak food in hot liquid, steep. I think it is soak food. Yeah, man. To strain, to mix ingredients by making circular motions, separate liquid from solid food using a sieve. Yes, it's it's going to be this one. Yeah. Three out of three, motherfuckers, to glaze. Steam in a covered pan with a minimum of liquid. No. Cover food with a smooth, shiny coating. Yes. To remove water from the food, cook slowly in liquid a closed dish or pan. No. It is cover food with a smooth, shiny coating, which is made out of milk or egg and or both, apparently. To toast, cook bread by exposure to grill fire, mix ingredients by making circular motions. No, it's gonna cook bread cheese by exposure to grill fire, etc. Mm. To pickle, uh, preserve food in vinegar or brine liquids. Six others, six to garnish. Um, to decorate a prepared food dish or drink. To scramble, scrambled egg. To stir food, mainly eggs during frying. To cut or grind meat into tiny pieces. Release moisture. Um, to stir food. Yeah. Eight of eight. Motherfucker. To broil or grill. Um, cook meat fish by exposure to direct radiant heat. What's going to be the last one? What is mother, motherfucker? Crushing food into soft pulp. Steaming covered pan with a minimum of liquid. Smother. I think it is actually what I meant. Cover food with a smooth, shiny, no. Remove the bones from fish or meat. No. So it's either food into soft pulp or steam. I'm gonna steam. 10 out of 10, motherfuckers. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Average score 9.27. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna end the episode there. So I wish you the best health of happiness and also success. And also hope that you're gonna remind yourself and you're gonna be remembered so you can be into legacy. I'm best you just being remembered as an Esper. So and then being remembered as an Esper is a brief and cool thing. Three other questions that I have for you are why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most? These three questions are gonna show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a brief and cool thing as well. The one last thing that I'm gonna have you is what could you essentially say to another person that is indeed gonna change their life? Because I totally believe that we all can say something and we all can communicate something that is indeed going to change somebody's life. And with that makes sense, bye-bye, take care of yourself, your family members and all of the loved ones, and I'm going to see you soon. Bye-bye.